Bigby presents Glory of the Giants is the most recent Icons of the Realms booster set from Wizkids. And while we're waiting to get our hands on every last mini in the set, let's have some fun by opening up a booster brick that they sent us last week. And many thanks to Wizkids for sending it. Now, aside from the five minis in that little special edition set that we took a look at a couple of weeks ago, you can see that link up there. There is This is going to be my very first look at these minis. I haven't even really checked to see what's in the set, but I know that it's going to be interesting because the Big Beast book introduces quite a few new stat blocks, but a lot of them, most of them, I think, are huge in size, which probably should be surprised, Glory of the Giants and all, but these sets here only have a few slots for huge size minis, so I'm curious to see which huges they chose to include from the book, and then how they filled in all those other slots in the set. So let's get to unboxing. Today's video is brought to you by Hitpoint Press. The Imperfect Sale is going on now. Get Imperfect Animated Spell Decks, Condition Decks, the Deck of Illusions, and the Humblewood Book or Box Set today for a massive discount. Supplies are limited, so be sure to check it out now using the info icon in the corner or the links below. And by the Deck of Encounters and Loot 5e Kickstarter from Tome of Summoning. Each monster card features a themed loot rolling table, offering delightful, dubious, or downright dangerous items. And each environment gets four tier-based encounter rolling table cards to keep your players engaged. Details in the info icon or the links down below. All right, let's start with getting the plastic off using the traditional magics. All right, there we go. Moving off to the side here, start with a random box. These have little Whiskers branded tape on them, which I don't remember having seen before. All right. Looks like we are starting with a Hill Giants. And there's a little spell effect with this one. So this is a Hill Giant Avalanche, number 34. Uh, now, in this book, the Big Beast book, each of the giant types, I believe each type, gets one uh, magic user. They're all using rune magic. So they have some sort of giant rune inscribed on one of their pieces of equipment. In this case, it looks like it's a club and it enables them to use some form of magic. So I think the avalanche can just, you know, drop hill rocks down or some such thing. I don't fully remember, but they have a fairly complex stat block. So now when you have your giant fights, you can have some magic users in there. So you have a variety of uh, giants that you can pull from instead of just having all of them swinging clubs and hurling rocks across the place. So that is a good thing. Next up, we have oh, an Edder Cap. Yeah, an Edder Cap, number two. So, yeah, just kind of a, a standard. It's a cool looking Edder Cap. Kind of standard Edder Cap. The Edder Caps are kind of the little humanoid spiders that you might encounter in any adventure. And we have a little one here. Oh, is this Bigby? Yes, we have Bigby already. The famous magic user Bigby, who gave his name to quite a few spells that you may be familiar with, particularly the hand variety. So very cool little Big B with this little floating book there. That's a great mini also just if you want to have like a gnome or halfling magic user. It's a very cool one. And we have a little velociraptor looking creature. This is a, oh gosh, Dilophos, Dilophosaurus? Dilophosaurus? I don't know. Number 22. Okay, it's a dinosaur. I think there, I don't remember if there's dinosaur. I think there are a few dinosaur stat blocks in the Big B's book because uh, I can kind of the hill giant things. Uh, play into that kind of area, that kind of sandy, rocky, old school area. So maybe that's from that. I don't remember exactly what stat blocks are in the book off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, cool set there. Next up we have, oh wow, that's a cool looking one. So each, uh, we're gonna have to take it out of the little plastic here. Now, along with each giant type having a rune magic user, each one gets an undead variety as well. And this, I believe, is the Cloud Giants undead and it is called a spectral cloud number 36 wow it's big and heavy and really cool uh i don't remember all the lore of these off the top of my head that's what our other main full set review video is but we'll be telling you more about it when we do that but it's a very cool looking creature I've never seen anything quite like that so i'll be curious to dig more into that and then we have our smaller ones uh starting with an orc here uh oh, straight up orc so I guess maybe we're just getting some kind of basic creatures that you might see in maybe like a, uh, one of your, what do they call those things? The, um, well, they have Monster Menagerie creatures, but we get our uh, tribal bands, our war bands uh, sets. 
And so maybe we'll kind of get some like a uh, unofficial warband, like an orc warband, if there's more orcs in here. I don't know. We'll find out. And we have like a snake. It is a giant poisonous snake. So yeah, another I believe basic creature there from the monster manual. So yeah, I don't remember having necessarily seen a giant poisonous snake mini before, so that's good. Uh, this is a hobgoblin. Yeah, straight up hobgoblin. So yeah, we're getting basic creatures. Interesting. They're good looking. The ones that the paint jobs are very good compared to a lot of our older minis. Uh, very solid and like, yeah, like very, like they've done enough layers on this so it doesn't have any kind of spot showing that sometimes could be an issue with some of these sets. All right, I'm gonna move these off to the side. And oops, I've got one. Maybe, maybe this set is gonna end up being good for folks who are just getting started as well. Particularly if you're gonna do uh, a Storm King's Under or other giant uh, adventure, but you also get a lot of basic creatures. Uh, this is like a stone giant, uh, yeah, stone giant rock speaker. So this is the, uh, I believe the runic magic stone giant. Got a lot of gemstones embedded in his head, his arms, a staff, a rock pile stacked around him as like a halo. Cool, yeah. And next up we have uh, another orc. It is, yeah, straight up orc. Number nine, it looks like a female orc as well. Cool, all right, so maybe these are gonna be, yeah, useful for, oh, what's this? This is a bag jelly. I think that's a new stat block in this adventure. Uh, oh gosh, I don't fully remember. Um, I don't know, something like leaving some sort of slime creature in your bag of holding too long. I forget exactly the where these come from, but oh, there's that cool stuff inside of it as well. That's a cool looking monster. All right, I do enjoy that. And we have a mushroom. We have a shrieker. I think this is another SRD basic monster that you can come across making this like, yeah, a particularly good set if you're just getting started with things or you just need some more basic minis. I'm okay with that. That's very cool. All right, I think I need a little bit more room over here. I'm gonna slide these over. All right, keep these together. I haven't opened a booster set in a while. I forgot kind of how fun it is. Let's do our next one. There we have a fire giant and this is a fire hellion. So this is a fire giant. I think he has a missing hand somewhere in here. Um, a fire giant who has made a pact with the devil to gain some more uh, devilish abilities to help him, uh, you know, achieve whatever nefarious goal that he has. And so if you notice he has horns and a tail and cloven hooves. So it's a combination of a devil and a fire giant which makes some sense. That looks like his hand over here. Here we go. So it is meant to be detached, as you might guess with some of these larger creatures. Uh, and we'll attach that over here. I guess you would have known because you're looking at the mini beside me and you would see the full thing put together anyway. Uh, our other minis in this one are another orc. Yeah, number eight, another orc. That's three different kinds of orcs. So yeah, you are getting a orc warband with this set, which I think is kind of cool. You can always use more orcs. And, oh, that's just a cool PC mini. That is Elf Druid Circle of the Primeval. Oh, I don't remember. There are two new, I think there's two new subclasses or uh, something similar to that in the Big Beast book. I don't remember if this is one of them, but it certainly goes along with our dinosaur over there. And yeah, this is just a cool mini that you can use for your PC characters. Well, when we do our full set review, I'll be able to give you all those little details. And that's just a big old bug. That is a giant tick, number one. That looks all right. That's a pretty cool creature. Giant tick, that's not a cool thing you want to find attached to your back, but yeah. Cool set. All right, we're halfway done. Oh, let's see what we have in the next box. These are all big and heavy boxes. And they're all, each one includes a huge, if you haven't noticed already. So yeah, maybe this one's gonna be bereft of large minis, which is kind of cool. All right, we have another Edder Cat. We have, I'm doing our smaller ones first. Oh, this is a, another one of those Dilophosphorus. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Lafora. I don't know why I have such a hard time pronouncing certain things. Certain combinations of sounds just don't want to come out of my mouth correctly. 
Uh, here we have a bent um, bugbear. Yeah, so maybe we're gonna get a bugbear uh, warband in the set. Now, a lot of the minis that have been arriving at our house this summer have arrived bent. And I think it's just an issue with us being over 100 degrees here for the past like 26 days here in Houston. When you have those high temperatures and temperature fluctuations, these minis tend to melt a little bit in transit and then they reset when they get taken indoors and they end up bent. Uh, if you live somewhere that has a reasonable climate, you probably won't run into as many issues. But that's just what we're gonna deal with here in the summer and it's just kind of a issue of them making these minis using soft plastic. What is this cool creature? Look at that, that's so cool. That's one of the coolest minis I've seen yet. It's so solid too. Uh, this is a cloud giant of evil air. The other kind of minis we get with this set of kind of giants are the ones that have um, working together, made some packs with the elemental evil princes and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so this is our cloud giant of evil air. That is a really cool looking creature. This just looks like one of those statues that you would buy at a bookstore or a collectible store and just get like, not a mini, but just a collectible statue that you have on your bookshelf. Uh, I love that one, I'll put it over here. Yeah, and as far as these minis that did get bent, very easy to reset them because we just gotta reheat them, which we can do by running them through hot tap water. And once we do that, we can reshape them and dunk them into some cold water, ice water, and they will reset pretty well. You sometimes have to do it uh, a couple of times to get them to hold their new form, but it is very doable. And this is another very cool looking creature that's stuck in the plastic really well. Ah, there we go. I always get afraid pulling those off. This is a frost morn, so this is our undead frost giant, which God, looks very cool. Aside from the kind of dead looking eyes, it doesn't necessarily look like an undead creature. So I think you could just use this for a frost giant if you wanted to, but it is a very cool creature. Again, we talked about this a little bit because this is one of the ones that we got with our special edition set. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you these two next to each other so you can see what they look like. The special edition minis came with uh, a special paint job just in that set. And so if you want some of these minis, uh, ind individually sort of, in this set with a special paint job, you can certainly get that set if you still want to. And our other little minis here are, I'm taking them all out of the plastic. We're starting off with a Orc Wizard Room Crafter. Oh, so that I believe might be one of our new, <laughs> wow, this is really cool. <laughs> it might be one of our new backgrounds or new subclasses, but uh, this is, I think it's a background. Uh, it is an Orc. <laughs> wearing glasses and a vest and a collared shirt. And I am in love with this PC already. I might have to use this as a new, when I play, I'm always looking for new uh, classes, interesting class and race combinations when I had to play a character in a D&D &D game. And that's just absolutely stunning. We got another bugbear over here, number four. Uh, classic book bear with a club. I mean, these are just classic creatures, but they look really good. And we got another dino. We've got the, oh boy, uh, dino, dino nicus or some such thing. The kind of feathered dino, finally. There we go, very cool. All right, so I'm gonna move these guys over here. So far, the minis have been really well painted this time around. Okay, our next set over here. And two more to go. And, oh, looks like we might have another fire giant Hellion. Yes, we do. We also have a bugbear, uh, the same number four we just saw a minute ago. And, oh, that was the box that had something else in it today. Probably the bugbear. Then we have, ooh, a very cool looking hobgoblin. This is some paint jobs on these are so, feels like they're so much better than usual. Yeah, it's really good. And another, well, if they're just mocking me, they know I can't pronounce the name, and they're just mocking me now. So we have another one of our, not quite a Velociraptor, <laughs> but we're certainly ready for our Jurassic Park uh, adventures. And finally we have our Fire Giant Hellion's arm. So I guess I will go ahead. Eh, we don't need to take them out of, well, no, we want to make a complete set here on the table, so I'll take them out of the box really quick. But yeah, I do like this mini as well. I love the combination of the fire giant and the, the devil with the cloven hooves, the, the glowing embers and fire coming out of his mouth and eyes. It just looks super cool, and I think it would make a good combination for your adventures. Plus, anything dealing with a devil and packs with a devil, 
Please ignore the plastic. There we go. Dealing with devils and packs with the devils with evil creatures. This makes for good storytelling. So, I wonder if there's any actual devil minis in this set. I kind of doubt it, based on what we've seen so far, but you never know. All right, so that is our next to last penultimate box. And we got one more to go. Ooh, little tails going everywhere. All right, last one. I was wondering if we were going to get... Ooh, I didn't get that tape very good. Uh, I was wondering if we were going to get a repeat of any of our huge creatures, and indeed we, indeed we did. Uh, oh, and we have another one, too. We got another Frostmourne here. Ooh, one's running around in the box still. So with our Frostmourne, we also have another Orc. Uh, no, this is an Orog. Oh, very cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, Orog. I was looking for Orogs when I was running my red, uh, original uh, Storm King Thunder adventure back in 2017. Frostmourne. And we got two more here. Ooh, what is this little fella? That looks like a giant ba uh, badger. Yeah, giant badger. So Dave from our buddy of Band of Badgers will be pretty happy if he gets his hands on one of these. And finally, our last mini of the brick is the bugbear. Yeah, there's a there's little bugbear. So we're going to show them all together when we do our full set review. I have a cool axe. These are good looking bugbears. All right, so if I can pull some of these together so we can see the whole set together. And again, we will be doing our full set review video as soon as we get our hands on every mini in the set. I think WizKids is trying to get us uh, a factory set or something similar so that we can do our big video that we always do for these releases. So please do stay tuned for that. Yeah, that was a very cool set. Uh, in the meantime, we will have a lot to cover. If you saw our last unboxing, you can see that up in the corner up there. So don't forget to check out the Imperfect Sale from Hit Point Press before it's too late, because those are some really great deals. And if you'd like to adopt a Cobalt of your very own, you can see someone behind me here. You can see all your options at HeroPlus.com, and you can follow us on social media at one of these sites here. Otherwise, let me know which of these minis is your favorite. Which one, what do you think of the set in general? I'm optimistic. Uh, I like the idea of going with the classic creatures, um, this new war bands, the ones you just can't get enough of, especially if there's no, I don't think the Big Big's book has a lot of medium or small sized creatures in it. So if you're going to have to invent something, you might as well go with classic creatures that we can never have too many of. So I'm all right with that. Interesting that there's no large minis. I don't think there's a single one in this entire set. So this is new. It's going to have a different kind of breakdown. So we'll talk about that when we do our full set review. So until next time, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.